everybody, Coach Andrew here with, with one of my favorites here. And, and I shouldn't pick favorites, but I just told her, I said, the day is coming sooner rather than later that she's not going to need me anymore, and I'm going to be really sad if I don't get to see her. Miss Kim is back with me today, and would you believe it? She's taken another vacation. This is the woman who, uh, you know, 60, uh, 98 days ago uh, would have never dreamed of taking a vacation. If she had, she would have been beating herself up uh, for the next week afterwards uh, about being selfish. But she has learned, hopefully I've been a part of this, uh, hopefully LT360 and the, and the community out there has been a part of this, the importance of recharging your own batteries, taking care of yourself so you can take care of the people that count on you. And she's back again, and she's got great numbers after lamenting to me that how bad this was going to be. And, and I just, I had to look at her. I told her, I said, shut up. Shut up. These numbers are great. She's doing wonderful. We have a good time in here. And so without further ado, over to you, Miss Kim. What you said about 98 days ago, I wouldn't have considered a vacation, is true. The first night I came here, um, uh, I stepped back with uh, Coach Scott, and I cried to him, telling him I didn't know how I could do this because uh, for the last two years, um, several people in my family have needed a lot more than I, I knew how to give, actually. But I've, I've learned some about that and, and learned how to um, deal with agencies and paperwork and yes and no's and no's and no's. And, and uh, a lot of that has come through just being able to make it through a day. I didn't know if I could make it through another day when certain crises arose um, with my family uh, before I started this program, um, and I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have bet the world that this would make a difference, and yet there was something that, that kept making me think I've got to change something, mm -hmm. and uh, that night that when I first came and attended the meeting, I thought, I, I just don't know if I can, if I can do this. And a couple of days later, I called in and said, I don't, I don't think I can do this. But you, you invited me to come for, for at least one, one meeting, one session with you, just one-on-one, -on -one, uh, talking through some of the things that were going on in, a, in our family's life. And, uh, you gave me hope um, that maybe I could do this if, and I'm not going to be Michael Belgiorno or, or Phil Valentine fast. Um, it, it's just not me. But I have been able to face each day because I roll over out of bed and I can stand up and walk. And when I'm finished walking, I'm so sweaty, <laughs> I'm so tired, and so on. But the rest of my day is is not only bearable, but I look forward to some of the challenges that I shied away from, some of the phone calls that I have to make, some of the people I have to deal with who know so much more about about health and programs and and medicines and whatever it's going to take. To, to help my family. And uh, so now at least I'm not as afraid to ask the questions, to take that chance. And I think it's because I feel better. I do feel a little bit more confident. I do feel a little bit braver about questioning things that I know nothing about. I'm not afraid as afraid to look like an idiot. And to say that that's because I'm exercising or walking or, or eating a little different sounds crazy, but it, it has changed my attitude about a lot of things. And it's given me the confidence to just keep moving and keep moving toward each goal in here with my own body so that I can help them. But also moving toward each goal, resolving each little crisis as it comes up with them.